this ordinary roll-up steel door are hundreds of pieces of priceless furniture. So you have a variety of benches and sofas and armchairs. From the solid wood, beautiful hand carvings, and exquisite inlays, the furniture is an antique collector's dream. But aside from its exquisite craftsmanship, the furniture's inherent value comes from the fact that it belongs in the Minnesota State Capitol. Pieces were extricated from the Capitol to prevent them from being damaged during the building's restoration project that's expected to be completed in 2017. It was a pretty big task. Replicas, restorations, and original pieces that have been in use since the Capitol opened in 1905 have been unloaded at the off-site facility. Renowned architect Cass Gilbert, who designed the Capitol, also designed many of the pieces now in storage. They really are important treasured pieces of the state capitol's history. Furniture from the House of Representatives retiring room, including tables, chairs, and couches, can be found here. Even the original directory is located at the secure spot. Keeping track of these precious items is a top priority for Capitol Historic Site Manager Brian Pease. Because almost half of the original Capitol furniture was tossed, auctioned off by the state, or relocated to other government agencies over the years, what's left is all that more valuable. Originally, Cass Gilbert had designed or ordered about 1,500 pieces of original furniture for the state Capitol, and since that time, a lot of that's moved out of the building or into different uh, state buildings and so forth. And so uh, of that original 15, the Historical Society has inventoried about uh, 800 of those pieces. Not all furniture is being kept off-site, however. Furniture is also being stored on-site at the Capitol. On the third floor is where you'll find the majority of the members' desks. Most of them are here on a racking system, and then we've got a few in the north wing as well, just because we ran out of room. But the majority of the house member desks are on the storage system behind us. And where we knew it would be out of the way, that there wouldn't be construction activities going on, that we could risk damage. So this is one of the locations that we won't actually do any construction until after they get moved back into place next year in 2016. Another central feature of the house chamber restoration is that members' chairs are neither on-site or at the off-site facility. Members were allowed to bring their chairs to their office in the state office building once the 2015 legislative session came to a close. The chairs will not reappear in the Capitol. They will be replaced with replicas of the original 1905 chairs. As far as the rest of the furniture at the off-site location, plans are underway to return items to where they were when the Capitol first opened and where architect Cass Gilbert had intended them to go. I think that for any architect when you build a building you know you understand buildings evolve and change because they all have their own history but I'm sure if he came back in 2017 he'd say wow you guys did a good job because that's where I wanted that bench and you still have that beautiful oval table I designed for the reception room and it's still there. The furniture is part of the Minnesota State Capitol's architectural history and these preservation efforts will help ensure it remains an integral part. Mm -hmm.